Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Red Bell Arabia. I just woke up. I don't know what's wrong with me. Whenever I wake up, I have an inspiration. Today, I'm going to talk about hospitals and clinics. Three years ago, I um, decided to go for a blood donation. It's a good thing to do. Partly to help other people and partly, you know, uh, lose some weight. So the thing is, I went uh, there and I was exhausted. I decided to say, okay, today is uh, donation day. Next step is I want to go to the dentist. I didn't do the dental cleaning for a while, so shit. So I went there and it was fun. I don't know anything. Is it the coronavirus effect or is it people don't want to work, people become dumb? I have no idea. But tell you truly what this will happen to me without exaggeration. I went there and uh, I'm a practical person, so I went and I went online and started to register for this. Uh, first, I, I tried calling, nobody responded. Then I made this email and they called me two hours later. Okay, so what time you want to have the? I said, okay, at 5 o'clock p.m. So sure. I went there about 5 to 5, right? So when I went inside, they're like, uh, they're okay, sir, you have to go to the uh, office on the left. You see the name of the person, then you, you go in. I said, okay. I took this paper clip. It says 5 o'clock. And I know the doctor's name. It says in the paper. I went there. And I saw the name of the doctor's office. But I was so polite. I said, okay. I don't want anyone to correct me. He said, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? I'm not supposed to. He said, let me uh, uh, watch, uh, get around the area to make sure what's the right procedure. So I went to find some Filipina lady. I said, hey, uh, I have this appointment with a doctor. Should I wait for someone to talk to? He said, no, 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 you just knock on the door. Shoot then. So I went there. I knocked on the door at 5.02. The doctor was upset at me. He said, sir, you're not being called yet. You have to wait there and then we'll call for you. So for most people, they don't care. It says, so what about it? I said, for me, I like to follow the discipline in a way that I don't want anyone to correct me, right? So I went as uh, I supposed to be before the time. And then I asked around, they told me to knock on the door. And then when I went there, she said to get out. Sure. So I got inside and the doctor, the lady, was doing my teeth. And while she was doing my teeth, right, she was asking me question. And I'm silent. So uh, she said, well, what, why are you so snobby? I said, I'm not snobby. Do you want me to talk and start to spill stuff on you? She said, OK, no problem. And this other Filipina lady, she was helping her. And they were chit-chatting in English, which is good. I was chit-chatting with them later on. But it reminded me of some incident. A couple of years earlier, I went to another hospital, and there were a couple of Filipina lady I don't know, where, uh, they were doing something to me, I forgot what was it, but uh, the funny part, they were speaking in clear English about me, about my nose, about my lips, about my hair, my eyebrow, as if I wasn't exist, if I didn't exist at all. So, uh, it's funny, then I responded to them in English, do you look at me? And they spoke in Arabic, yes sir, can I help you in Arabic? Oh my God, the shock. The thing is, you know, they didn't expect me to speak English, and when I spoke to them, they didn't comprehend, so they start to speak to me in Arabic. It's funny, it's funny. So this kind of retardation multiplied by three these days in all hospitals. I don't know why the ladies, 95% are ladies, and all of them, they, they just don't care. Right? So, uh, I just, you know, it's a remark, like, you know, that... I believe the lockdown really reduced the people's uh, ability to think and to, uh, you know, work. And it's just, uh, I think that it deserved for me to recognize. Um, um, that's it. Thank you all for uh, watching and see you later.